Okay, it's Luxury Fred, and I am off on an exciting luxury road trip. I'm headed to Austin, Texas, here from Los Angeles, or Palm Springs, and I'm gonna drive the brand new 2021 Rolls-Royce Ghost. To make the trip exciting and to keep everything in the Rolls-Royce BMW family, to make the drive, I'm taking this, which is the 2020 BMW 740i xDrive. Which is their big 7 Series sedan. It's got a twin turbo inline six engine and xDrive means it has the four wheel drive. So uh, it's a two-day trip. I'm going to try to drive uh, now to Phoenix, Arizona, and then on to El Paso, Texas for the night. And then tomorrow, uh, I'll make the drive from El Paso to Austin. So unfortunately, I'm driving and not riding in the back because for this car, the back really is the nice place to be. You can see it's very limo-like. We went to the store the other night and I had Latrice to drive me home and I pretended I was in a very fancy limo. And uh, amazing lighting on these Bowers and Wilkins speakers, by the way. And then if we go in the front here, you can see this is our cockpit for the trip. This is mainly what I'm seeing on the drive. This first part of the drive, it's about five hours to Phoenix from Palm Springs. And you can see it's mainly desert. Beautiful desert, but not much to look at, not much places to stop, just a lot of desert. And I uh, love the BMW's got this kind of assisted driving. Uh, you need to put your hands on the wheel, but it helps steer and works with the adaptive cruise control as well. So it makes driving these long distances pretty easy. Okay, so that's it for this segment. Got my new unit in radar detector going, so hopefully that's gonna alert me if there's any police in the area. Okay, so you know how sometimes a road trip sounds like fun when you think about it and plan it, but then when you're actually on the road trip, you realize maybe it was a little long. So I've driven about seven hours and I'm somewhere in near Tombstone, Arizona maybe about uh, two and a half hours from my destination, which is El Paso, about 200 miles from there. And uh, BMW's been great. Really love, uh, you know, just putting the cruise control on. Speed limit here is 75, so I've been doing about 83, 84, something like that, making good time. And uh, it's been a pleasure to drive. So for the first little part of the trip, I had the car in comfort mode. And then I got smart and I put it in Eco Pro to get the best gas mileage. Uh, so this is your um, average since I started about 26 miles per gallon, which is okay. And this is a, a twin turbo inline six engine. Um, so maybe we can improve, get that up to maybe 30 miles per gallon or something like that. But the car is rated at uh, 23 average 20 city 28 highway so something i really like i just filled the car up with gas it's a very big gas tank and look at that range 574 miles so everyone was talking about hey you need to make sure you keep getting gas between el paso and austin the drive between el paso and austin is 510 miles 515 miles so by filling up here in el paso got enough gas so I like having that big gas tank and reasonable gas mileage so I'm somewhere in the middle of Texas and uh, just a whole lot of open road and open space uh, speed limits 80 out here which is good this is Texas Hill Country we're right outside of Fredericksburg and uh, there's a whole bunch of wineries out here like like 20 50 wineries on both sides of the street big vineyards and wineries and places where you can go wine tasting and stuff like that so a lot of cool stuff to do wine tasting in texas hill country 
this is uh, again outside of uh, Fredericksburg, uh, uh, still on uh, State Route 290. And just wanted to show you what it looks like when you drive a car through Texas. There's a lot of bugs in Texas. And something I just saw, maybe I'll try to stop here on my way back, is the President Lyndon B. Johnson State and National Historic Monument. So we had to stop on our road trip here at the LBJ Ranch, which is a national and state historic park. Okay, look! Yay! It's Austin, Texas! We've arrived! And I have arrived, and we're switching up the uh, 740 for this. A new Rolls Royce Ghost. So that's what we're going to be driving. And we have arrived here at the Fairmont Austin, and you can see the Ghost is very nice. Hey, and you can see we're going to be doing a lot with this car. Okay, it is Luxury Fred, and I have returned from my epic uh, Palm Springs, Austin, Palm Springs road trip. In this, the uh, 2020 BMW 740i X Drive, and I just wanted to kind of do a conclusion vlog about the experience and talk about what it was like to drive this car uh, about 2,500 miles back and forth between again Palm Springs and Austin. The car was great on the drive. The BMW was great on the drive. I drove 99% of it in the Eco Pro mode to get the best gas mileage. My average uh, through the whole trip, again about 2,500 miles, was just under 29 miles per gallon, 28 and a half. 28.7, 28.4, something like that. So just under 29 miles per gallon. Uh, the 740i has a twin turbo inline six cylinder engine. And in the Eco Pro mode, it's a little bit more sluggish than in the comfort mode or the sport mode, of course, but it does allow you to get that reasonable mileage. Um, the other key part of this car on the drive was the range of the fuel tank, which I think is 20 gallons. Uh, it got me a range each time I filled up of about almost 600 miles, about 575, 580 miles on a fill up. So the one thing people warned me about driving from uh, LA to Texas was there's a lot of spots in the middle there where you don't have a lot of gas stations and they said, oh, you need to fill up every time because you're not going to make it. I basically only had to fill up once. Did it straight through, it's about 18 hours. So I broke that into four you know, to two days, nine hours of driving a day, and then I broke that into two sessions, four and a half hours, then a break, then another four and a half hours. So it was pretty easy. Basically, uh, on the first night, I drove from Palm Springs to El Paso, Texas. Then I spent the night there. Then I got up in the morning and then spent the next day driving from El Paso to Austin. Now, this was a big car to take on a road trip by myself. And the one time that I really used the space and the back seat was at rest stops. So I'll show you some video at the rest stops. I would just turn the car on and sit in the luxurious back seat and eat my meal, including this Popeye's lunch. I stopped to get some Popeye's and I didn't want to eat inside the building. So I decided to eat in the car and then I was sitting in the front. I'm like, what am I doing in the front? I turned on the air conditioner and I'm sitting in the back. And this is a nice place to eat a nice meal. So I'm going to have my uh, Popeyes in the back of the BMW and then finish my trip home. This car is equipped with the optional Driver's Assistant Pro Package with Active Driving Assistant Pro. And I'll show you a little clip of it. Basically, it's like uh, self-driving automatic steering. You have to touch the steering wheel very lightly or you have to touch it every 20 seconds or something like that, but it basically reads the road lines and steers the car for you. Uh, it's the step right before totally autonomous driving. It was great to use. And what that relieves is you're, you know, you, you 
your arms get fatigued from holding them on the wheel and steering and you know for hours and hours so basically you just have to just touch the wheel and the car steers itself it only works or mainly works on you know big divided highways. The other option that this car has uh, that was a key to this trip it has icon adaptive LED headlamps with laser light And these are incredibly bright. So when there's no other traffic in the middle of nowhere in Texas to have those bright lights, you could see for miles and miles and miles. And I think another key part of the trip um, was using this. I bought this right before the trip. This is a Uniden DFR1 radar detector. It was only $55 on Amazon. The link is down there if you want to buy one. It was very, very effective. Okay, so I think that's it uh, for this vlog about my incredible road trip with, again, the 2020 BMW 740i xDrive. Uh, you can see more about my trip uh, with this car and also my experiences with the new Ghost um, on my at Drive with Fred Instagram feed. You can see more videos here on my YouTube channel. You can read more on my Luxury Fred blog. And uh, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching the video. And hey, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.